Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to overview the yet another Q&A from the developers of the game. I really like this uh, theme of giving us the sneak peeks of the what's gonna be in the future of Call of Dragons. And last one was like amazing. They told us about the bazaar. And I'm really interested what kind of news we are going to get uh, from this Q&A. Let's try to understand, let's analyze it and let's check what kind of future developments we are going to have in our favorite game. Uh, first question, the Belleron map is lacking in combat elements, will you be changing it? After receiving feedback, we have realized that some players are unsatisfied with uh, parts of the Belleron map. As a result, we are currently planning a redesign. Well, in, in case of map, um, I like that uh, they are listening to the players and whenever players are saying we need to have a better map um, and they are actually doing it, it's already good practice in my opinion. And of course, I have been part of the seasons where there was like really hard to play with cavalry heroes. Sometimes map was strictly for flying units and that sometimes can be totally fine but if they are trying to change the maps and redesign it it will be interesting uh, what kind of uh, changed map we are going to get uh, for the season two for the players who are in season two right uh, second question will you add more ways to spend uh, leftover legendary tokens well i think this is an amazing question right we have realized that some players have more legendary tokens than they need, right? And you would like a way to exchange them for in-game resource items. In response, we are planning to add the legendary hero token exchange store as a part of the season summary, allowing players to scrap non-seasonal legendary hero tokens for points which they can use to purchase items and uh, legendary tokens from the latest generation unused points will be retained in your inventory and can be used in where every season we are also hoping to improve the scrap feature in the tavern allowing you to automatically scrap epic hero tokens in exchange for points well here like um, i didn't believe uh, what i was reading actually but uh, I think we have a lot to uncover here. A lot of pay to win players and players who have already awakened a lot of legendary heroes, they are having uh, unused tokens, unused legendary tokens, and um, even people from my alliance have been saying that they wish they could use those tokens. For now, what we understood from here, we will be able to scrap legendary tokens in a season summary and we will be able to purchase items we don't have any specific items here said in terms of what kind of items we can purchase from these points but i think already uh, the availability of exchanging and scrapping uh, legendary hero tokens which you don't need is already a big big improvement and actually i have to say it by myself i wasn't really expecting this kind of change in call of dragons in near future and i totally love it that we are getting uh, this kind of scrapping in the game i hope next one will be about vip points because i'm totally i'm pretty sure that a lot of players uh, have maxed out vip shop and they have a lot of uh, vip points just standing on the inventory and they can't use it right but if they are letting us to scrap legendary hero tokens and i'm pretty sure in near future uh, they will give us the chance to scrap vip points too amazing news amazing news especially for pay to win players and even for some uh, free to play players too so i'm really really looking forward about this change uh, catching um, the third question catching certain war pets uh, is too difficult will you add a way to search for your desired war pets since we introduced the warped system we have sent plenty of discussions with each improvement we have made following feedback we will be adding a new event as part of the holiday event series uh, which will allow us to summon specific warpeds to a location near your city and capture them during the event you will be, you will have a number of free summon attempts each day after using up your free summons you will be able to spend warrants to gain more attempts well i actually i have never had a problem regarding catching the warpeds which i wanted but if uh, for some players it's been pretty rough and 
uh, they have been asking for this kind of change, then why not, right? Uh, even for me, it will be much, much easier for me to catch Warped near my city rather than looking to the map and trying to get uh, the desired Warped. I guess it's like a UI change, and getting things easier for Warped section. Uh, let's see how it will be and of course whenever there is like more events more holiday events and more uh, rewards from those events is better for everybody in the call of dragons right uh, another question will you introduce an event that allow us to change our units into different types all right um, nice question we understood understand that since players are only able to deploy one type of unit at, at once in the early game and deployment queue uh, slots are limited this affects um, the player experience making two types of training building less useful in response we are planning to add a unit type conversion event in season one players can convert units uh, of one type in into another type of the same level at one to one ratio this is limited to level one to three units and quantity limits will also apply uh, i think that's perfect change Whenever I was tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3 uh, player, um, I always asked more experienced players, is it really worth it to recruit new ones, or at first I should like convert my legions uh, to the tier 4 one by one, and if we're gonna have event which will give us some more rewards by doing this, it will give us additional benefits for, uh, to... Uh, prepare our legions in a most perfect way tier fours are uh, generally the main thing for uh, beginners especially and of course i hope uh, in the future we're gonna have more events uh, which gonna help which gonna give us more rewards whenever we will um, upgrade units from tier four to tier five let's continue now will you add the 11 hours city shield eight hours is too short and 24 hours is too long we are planning to add um, 11 hours uh, 12 hours city shield item into the store this is a, this is this is expected to be included in, in update uh, well nice um, i think uh, uh, we should have gotten uh, 12 hours uh, of shield even before but I don't see how it will change the game. I guess it's just another good addition which we are going to expect from uh, in the future in Call of Dragons. The level 80 the Titans Legacy rewards overlap with previous seasons. Will you be changing them? Um, that's the, the battle pass, right? We are planning to pre periodically refresh the level uh, like 80 Titans Legacy rewards. Since many players are still in season T1 and B2, we are planning to begin periodic refreshing of rewards once the season merge process is complete. Nice, I guess more rewards, different kind of rewards, uh, so everybody will be able to get it until we won't gonna see it um, like this is just a wording I, I i actually want to see what kind of rewards we are going to get uh, will we display weekly playing time figures in alliance rankings quite pretty good question by the way from the suggestions we are received it appears that players would like to display their playing time in order to show off their level of activity and personal strengths however it is easy easy for uh, descriptive Discrepancies, uh, discrepancies to appear between playing time and PC on mobile and revealing the information could be an infringement of player privacy as a result we are not planning to display players play time uh, that being said we are looking to introducing a measurement system that favors individuals for example displaying player strengths on a radar style map this is still the design phase so stay tuned for more information well I totally understand developers of the game players privacy is the most important in my opinion there will be a lot of players who wouldn't like to show their online time and uh, every single detail which you are doing inside the game of course it will be pretty good for alliance um, officers alliance leaders but everybody should respect uh, players privacy and i like that developers of the game our game is thinking about this important topic Will you, be, will you add a button for hiking system to the UI for quicker management? Uh, we are currently considering adding a management button for hiking to the Alliance leader screen. Uh, we hope this feature will make in-game management and strategizing more effective uh, and improve the game experience. Actually, I have never been the leader of the Alliance. I have never been the hiking. Um, I don't have any 
uh, like uh, opinion about this uh, future update because uh, I don't know what kind of UI uh, Hikings had and has right now and how it will be changed, right? So uh, let's ask our leaders and we're, we're gonna find out how good it will be in the future. Will, will legendary heroes be added to the ordinary tavern once a season ends? Well, I have been waiting for this edition of the game for a quite while right now. We are planning to gradually add previous generation heroes to tavern after players enter Season of Strife. As the new heroes are added, please keep an eye on the future announcements for specific regarding the date of this edition. Perfect, especially great for free to play players. Love this change. Uh, I was waiting for this change for a while, but at least they are giving it to us, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, we will be able to get uh, different kind of legendary heroes for normal pools from Tavern, and it should have been done like this, right? Like, basic heroes we have gotten already for 400 days, even more, and it was time for us to get additional heroes uh, for the no normal pools from the Tavern. Amazing update. Will you add, add more ways to obtain member points? Okay, another great question. After migration permits were added to the Alliance Store, we have heard the feedback from players who did not have enough member points. In response, we will be adding new events that offer member points as a reward in future updates in order to allow players to more easily acquire migration migration permits. Uh, well, migration have been pretty big topic in Call of Dragons after addition of the uh, migration permits especially i was expecting that they would add some additional ways for us to get migration permits but at least we're gonna have more member points which gonna mean that we will be able to buy more migration points and uh, it will like anytime uh, migration is more accessible for players and they will decide where they want to go it's already an amazing addition right um, I like this answer very, very, very much. So, in, in terms of summary, um, I, in my opinion, we hear a lot of good stuff about future of this game. Uh, first of all, we will be able to scrap legendary tokens, which is amazing news. Uh, second of all, uh, we are going to get... Um, Okay, we are going to get additional legendary uh, heroes in Tavern, which I'm pretty sure everybody was expecting. And finally, we are going to get an Incense Season of Strife, which means really, really soon. And of course, Migration Permits. These three uh, news which we just read is like greatest news which I wanted to hear for a long, long time. Uh, I don't know, after every single Q&A which they are making, I'm getting more and more excited about the game. I hope you guys read, um, uh, read the uh, Q&A by yourself. If not, then this video will be perfect for you. Uh, as always, share your opinion. Tell me what do you think about the updates. What do you think about the future of the game? In my opinion, we are moving to the correct direction. I like almost every single detail which you are getting, even for pay-to-win players, even for free-to-play players. Every single player should get some love in this game, and we are getting that from developers of the game. As always, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, uh, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, more videos for this amazing game. I like this Q&A, I hope they are going to continue in this way and we are going to have more sneak peeks uh, about the future of Call of Dragons. Uh, and of course I'm waiting for faction um, news because we got sad like a couple of months ago that we are going to get new faction in this game. Uh, as always, I'm going to wish you guys uh, amazing luck wherever you are, so I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.